website, and here we have a kind of an American classic, really. A Simplicity 7350. This one features a dual-stage motor, and it the motor was fine, so I didn't really work on that. The brush hole got rebuilt with new strips, uh, needed a new bearing on at least one end of it. It always seems to be the the non-belt side on these rollers that fail first. I'm guessing, you know, they, you know, because they don't really, uh, they don't really kind of, the uh, brush rolls guide everything towards the side, towards the suction inlet, but, you know, it's not like it has a chevron shape to it to keep the dirt in this area, so I think everything gets kind of pushed this way, and as the, uh, as the bag clogs up and you lose airflow, I think it's easier for particles to get into the the brush roll bearing over there. Fortunately, they are rebuildable, so that's not too big an issue if you have a little bit of a um, little bit of mechanical skills. But. We'll get to the usual measurements. So we'll start off with the voltage and then we'll do the wattage. And I'm going to turn this away from here because I put some <laughs> bright LED headlights in here and I have a feeling those would cause a lot of glare. So. So now we'll take the airflow and the suction at the hose. Before I do the suction test, I just wanted to mention this. There is a chip on the end of the hose, so I'm going to use this to cover that up. This is just a 32 to 35 millimeter adapter, so it allows the use of European style tools like Mila or Lindhaus on the standard 32 or one and a quarter inch vacuums. Pretty handy. with the brush roll on. about the most we'll get, so then we'll do the suction. Now we don't have a lot of suction, and you can hear that air is leaking around the base plate, specifically in the area of the belt cap, so probably why we're not getting great numbers from that. And then we're going to turn the brush hole off. We'll do the measurements again.
So now based off of what I've seen running this before, we should actually see a lot of agitation from this. It kind of creates a weird little wave, almost two to three inches in front of it. And I'm guessing, you know, the new brush strips might be a part of that. But we'll get to this. <laughs> <laughs> Unexpected, at least that far away. Oh yeah, we can see that weird vibrating. Seems like it doesn't occur right in front of it, but it occurs like a few inches ahead. I really enjoy these units and units that are similar to this, like the Recar 8900 or a Panasonic. Speaking of which, I did pick up a Panasonic recently but it needs a new end cap on its brush roll so it'll be a little while before we get to seeing that i think but uh yeah these are just a nice pleasant unit to use they have a nice deep sound to them with the dual stage motor that these ones use i know some of the simplicity 7 series and the recar 8900 series did use a single stage those were generally the cheaper ones but the upper line ones tended to use a dual stage, either Amtec, like this one, or some of them used a Duratec brand motor. Either way, both of them have a nice, pleasant sound to them, and they have pretty good cleaning ability, in my opinion.